In this video, let's go through how to calculate the sample size for A-B tests. We know that the rule of sum is 16 multiplied by sample variance divided by delta square, whereas delta is the difference between control and treatment. Now, let's go over how we come up with this formula step by step. Typically, we can use two sample t-tests to determine whether the difference between two populations is statistically significant. Let's say we want to test if a metric in the control group mu c is the same as that of the treatment mu t. Then our null hypothesis h0 is mu c equals to mu t, and the alternative hypothesis is mu c does not equal to mu t. Based on the central limit theorem, we know that the mean of the difference between mu c and mu t, x bar, is approximately normally distributed with mean mu t minus mu c and variance, the population variance multiplied by 2 divided by sample size n. For simplicity, we assume the two populations have the same variance. We can transform x bar to an approximately standard normal variable z. Based on the definition of type 2 error, the probability of accepting the null hypothesis when there is a significant difference between mu c and mu t, we could write its formula like this. Now, think about when we accept h0, given that the significance level is alpha. It's when the absolute value of z is less than or equal to z score of alpha over 2. Now, we could subtract this part on both sides of the equal sign so that the middle part is the same as the standard normal variable z. Finally, we can represent beta using phi, the value of the cumulative distribution function of the normal distribution. Now, there are two possibilities. One is mu c is larger than mu t, and the other one is mu c is less than mu t. The results are the same for the two scenarios, so let's look at one of them. Assume mu c is larger than mu t, the right side of the minus sign in the above formula is always less than negative z score alpha over 2, because this part is a positive value. Negative z score alpha over 2 is very small, we could approximate it as 0. Therefore, beta is approximately equals to the left side of the minus sign. We could use phi to represent it. So now we have the negative z score beta equals to this, then we could use all the other parameters to represent the sample size n. Our assumption was mu c is larger than mu t, but this holds when mu c is less than mu t. I'll leave this to you to figure it out. Typically, we choose alpha as 0.05, so alpha over 2 is 0.025, and beta is 0.2. Using a z-score table, we could get the value of alpha over 2 and beta are negative 1.96 and negative 0.84, respectively. So this score alpha over 2 plus this score beta to the power of 2 is close to 8. That's how we obtain the rule of sum formula that n approximately equals to 16 multiplied by sample variance divided by delta square. 